Hello guys and girls, welcome to my Windows 10 tips and tricks and today how to calibrate your monitor in Windows 10. Now don't worry, once you've done all of the settings in this video, you can go back to your previous settings or save the current settings. So what you need to do is down in the search bar on the bottom left, type in calibrate, C-A-L-I-B-R-A-T-E, and then click on that option, Calibrate Display Settings. And it just says in here, how to improve your display settings. So just read that. Now ideally, what you want to do is you want to reset your monitor to factory default settings. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you want to keep your current settings, then you can go back to them if you want to. But on mine, I'm going to do that anyway. So I'm just going to select the factory default settings and I can just reset mine here. So I've reset mine to factory default and now we can continue. So click on next. And first of all, we've got the gamma settings. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Gamma radiation. Right, so what you've got here is you've got this slider. So you slide this up and down. And what you want is you want to not be able to see the small circles in the middle of all these larger circles. So just find a setting on your monitor that works for you. Obviously, it's difficult because you're on your monitor, I'm on my monitor, so it's going to look completely different. This is just to give you an idea of what happens. So now we're going to do the brightness and the contrast adjustment. Again, now click on the next. You can skip that if you want to, but I would advise not to. So what we're looking at here, um, we've got a picture of a man's dark black shirt. Click on the menu button on your monitor and now adjust it on the actual monitor settings. So on your brightness settings, just move that up and down until you get a really nice um, brightness setting on that shirt. So I'm just going to quickly play around with my settings here and find something that's good for my monitor and my eyes. So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to click on next. And now we're going to do the contrast settings. So click on next and now on press the menu button on your monitor and go to the contrast settings. So I've now on the monitor settings So I'm going to select the contrast and again going to slide this up and down until you've got a nice setting for you so you can just see the creases on the shirt. You've got some good contrast there. Again it's going to look different on your monitor so just select what looks good for you and then click on next. And now we come to the grey settings. So we've got the RGB settings here, red, green and blue. And we just want a nice grey colour. So let's just slide the red. Again, that looks horrible. So I'm quite happy with it pretty much right at the top. The green settings. Oh, yuck. So yeah, about there. Nice grey. The blue. Yeek. That's OK right at the top. And now click on next. So I'm happy with those grey settings. Yep. So if you're happy with that, click on the next button. And now what you can do is you can either save your previous calibration or you can save your current calibration. So you can go back to your previous settings or you can say, yeah, I'm happy with what I've just done. Click on current calibration. Now, if you notice at the bottom, you've got this start clear type tuner and I'm got that selected that's quite good to do at the end so I'm going to click on current calibration to save my settings because I'm happy with everything that I've done and then once you've clicked on that click on finish and now it starts the clear type tuner now this only takes about 20 seconds and it's just helps um, 
your text to look a lot clearer for you and your eyes. So make sure you've got your glasses on if you need glasses. So what you're doing here is you're just selecting the text which looks the clearest to you. So it's very simple, just select the one that looks the best. So I'm just going to quickly run through these. These are what look good for my eyes and on my monitor. Click on finish and job done. So now let's just um, check out a couple of photos on the desktop background to make sure they look nice and clear. So let's uh, select this one as a desktop background because I know this is a good picture. That's looking pretty good. So let's just select that to the right setting. So let's click on fit. And lovely, that's looking crystal clear clarity. That's the end. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Hope that's helped somebody out there.